Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of the development of Chinese lithography machine. The lithography machine giant ASML was not well known before. Even if it made a leading lithography machine, it surpassed the former lithography machine giants Nikon and Canon in Japan. Because lithography machines belong to the upstream of the semiconductor industry chain, mainly for wafer manufacturing plants. If it hadn't been restricted by the US to ship to Chinese companies, I'm afraid it wouldn't have received so much attention. Compared with ASML, China Shanghai Microelectronics has a lower sense of presence. However, there is news that ASML did not expect that the domestic lithography machine will be put into trial operations soon. Chips originated in the United States, and lithography machines are no exception. The US company GCA first launched a lithography machine. Before the 1980s, the lithography machine market was dominated by the US. Nikon has been providing lithography machines for the US company GCA. Optical Lens Nikon has accumulated a certain amount of lithography machine manufacturing technology from it. With the rise of the Japanese semiconductor industry, both Nikon and Canon have become lithography machine giants. From the 1980s to the beginning of this century, the two dominated the lithography machine market, and GCA declined and disappeared. However, what Nikon and Canon did not expect was that they were later surpassed by the lesser-known Dutch ASML. ASML developed the leading RF immersion DUV lithography machine in 2004 and later launched a more advanced EUV lithography machine. So it began to develop rapidly into a new overlord, accounting for about 80% of the global lithography machine market. ASML not only exclusively supplies high-end EUV lithography machines, but even mid-range DUV lithography machines account for most of the market share, among which RFI immersion-type shipments accounted for 96%, RF dry-type lithography machines accounted for 88%, and Nikon's DUV lithography machines accounted for 96%. The quantity is very small. Canon can only ship low-end lithography machines, such as KRF and iLine now, and the level is actually not as good as China's Shanghai Microelectronics. Although China Shanghai Microelectronics has a big gap in lithography machines, it is also one of the four major manufacturers in the world that can produce front-end lithography machines and the back-end packaging and testing lithography machines are doing well, accounting for 80% of the domestic share, and the global also accounted for 40%. The gap is mainly in the front-end lithography machines used for chip manufacturing, but it can be seen from the official website that Shanghai Microelectronics can produce RF, KRF and I-Line lithography machines. Shanghai Microelectronics is able to produce RF, which is already stronger than that of Japan's Canon. And the highest process of RF reaches 90 nanometers. 45 nanometers can be made by two exposures, and the maximum is 22 nanometers by three exposures. Although the multilayer exposure technology is relatively mature now, mass production is unlikely. Because the more exposure times, the lower the chip yield and the higher the cost. Therefore, exposure is generally not used multiple times by using it twice. Although Shanghai Microelectronics has been able to produce a 90 nanometers RF lithography machine, there has been no news that the company has used it and mass produced it. 
What's more, it was just produced, but it didn't enter the production line. This kind of news keeps coming out. However, recently, some netizens broke the news that Shanghai Microelectronics domestic lithography machine has entered the production line and is ready to be powered on for trial operation. This time, when the netizen released the news, they included a picture showing Yandong Technologies chip manufacturing equipment procurement list. The seventh item is the procurement of lithography machines. The supplier is Shanghai Microelectronics. The procurement time is November 2021. Moon. Upon inquiry, the company that purchased the lithography machine was Beijing Yandong Microelectronics, a high-tech enterprise integrating professional integrated circuit design, manufacturing and sales. The company has 6-inch and 8-inch production lines and is building a 12-inch production line. The goal of this 12-inch production line is to mass produce a 65 nanometers process. So the lithography machine purchased is a 90 nanometers RF lithography machine. The name of the production line is 12-inch integrated circuit production line project based on a complete set of domestic equipment with special technology. The goal is to build China's first domestically made independent and controllable chip production line. So the key equipment purchased is all domestic equipment. The plan for the first phase of the project is trial production in April 2023, which is next month. According to information from netizens, the production line is not overdue and is ready to be powered on for trial operation. Yandong Micro also said that the 12-inch production line is advancing normally, and it is expected to be powered on for production next month. In this case, it also means that the Shanghai Microelectronics lithography machine will also be powered on for trial operation, that is, the 90 nanometers RF lithography machine. The specific situation is not completely sure at present, but depends on the official official news. However, judging from the news and inquiries from netizens, it can be shown that domestic lithography machines are still advancing, and Shanghai Microelectronics is also working hard silently. Because the lithography machine needs a long verification time from production, to passing the acceptance inspection, to the production line operation, and it takes a long time to verify and solve problems continuously to achieve mass production. Before that, generally no news will be made public, and only silent efforts will be made to advance. In addition, Shanghai Microelectronics is still working hard on the 28 nanometers immersion lithography machine, and ASML probably did not expect the progress to be so fast.